today we are doing chapter four from Stray. This one is called The Slums. What's up, YouTube? I'm Kat from KK Jinx Gaming, gaming for fun. And today, like I said, we are doing chapter four. So let's go ahead and start by making our way down this alleyway. And now these robots are going to freak out. He has initiated emergency protocol. So uh, basically, we just want to make our way around. And this place can be a little bit confusing at first. And it's one of the largest areas in this game. And uh, several chapters... Uh, sorry, I got distracted. Several, several of the chapters in this game actually take place in the slums. And there are plenty of badges to earn from in here and plenty of memories to get and we will get them all. Um, but since most, since a lot of the chapters do come in here, we have plenty of time to get all those things. We only need to actually have those missions completed before chapter 8. So, And we're only on 4, so we got a little bit of time. We'll just kind of grab stuff as we're going along. So this is... Guardian. That's his name. His name is Guardian. So we're going to call him Gmo. So we want to first approach Gmo. We want to meet him. And B12 here is translating for us. And they seem to have their own language. And now they realize that you're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. That should be easy enough. So now he's going to go ahead and call off the state of emergency because we are just a kitty cat. We are not a Zerk. All right. So now to finish off this cutscene, everyone's going to come back out and cautious, but resuming normal activities. Back to work. Back to the couch. Back to whatever you were doing before. Alright, so now we're going to go back up to Gmo again. And we want to show him this item. Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. You can talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives up in that building with the orange neon sign. Easy enough, right? All right, so let's go and talk to Momo. So you can press down on the D-pad to ask B... I almost called him Bimo. B12 for help. Don't hesitate to call me anytime. I'm here to help. The Guardian told us to go talk to Momo up in the big building with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. All right, so it's actually pretty easy to get to him. So let's go jump on this dumpster. And then... Nope. No, you're doing it wrong. Oh, no, what's happening? Okay. Oh, I'm stuck in a garbage can. I'm stuck. Okay, okay, okay. We're all right. Jump on the air conditioners. All the way up. All the way up. And you can't jump on the spiked ones. And of course, there are things you can do here. You can, you know, meet everybody. And they'll tell you that they want to focus. Don't want to drop another bottle. And, of course, if you want, you can scare him. Ready? Watch this. Oh, it didn't work. Hold on, hold on. Wait till he goes to throw another one. Ah, I <laughs> dropped a bucket. Oh, that robot's mad now. Look what you've done. Look what you did. He said, oh my bad, oh my bad. Whoops, a doodle. And the funny part is, is that they're not even doing this for a reason other than to have fun. But anyway, we're going to keep going up to Momo's if I can get up there. Yeah. And then we're going to jump across here. And then we want to get up on this AC unit. And then to this AC unit and to this balcony and to his window. And we are at Momo's house. That's how you fix TVs. 
how sad he is. The thing to take note of is this translates to outsiders. All right, let's go meet Momo. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you, what do you want? Let's show him the item. This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're all gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up, but I tried to contact them, but that <laughs> transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes for our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Now we've got Momo's notebook and you can see it says one out of four. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The outside manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from the Zerks. It's signed at Clementine's, Balthazar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. All right, so let's go find the other notebooks. We're going to go right out this window. And I'm going to show you here that oh, the symbol on the wall matches the one no on the notebook. Yeah, so I don't have to show you. They're showing you. So we want... There's, okay, yeah, it's a lead. Thanks, E12. So we've got one there, one there, and one there. Let's go to the left first. Oh, wait. Uh, hi. I didn't want to go back down here. That's not that's not what I wanted to do. So jump back across. And then come back up here behind this robot. We're going to go up to this one. Jump across. Make your way up. Ignore that bucket. The AC units. The cage. And the roof. So first you can see the little circles. That's letting us know that there's something here. We want to grab the battery cell. So that way we can jump down in here. All right, so to find the notebook here, we've got to tumble over these two stacks of boxes. And there we go. We're still in the box, that's funny. An outsider notebook, it's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabalthazar. All trace of organic... Uh, of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate. As if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. Alright, I concur. So, the best way to get out of here, I'm, it might be the only way. I think this is one of those ones you, you can't miss. But this is the territory trophy spot right there. Alright, I'm going to come back this way. Because now, we want to go to the left of Momo's place. So, jump across here. I'm gonna come over around here. You can probably see it from here. Also, a quick pit stop. This There's four vending machines that work here. And you need it to finish these side missions. You need to get the items. All right, so now we've got an energy drink. So let's come back over here and go ahead and jump up this air conditioner. If you would. If you would do me this solid, thank you. And we've got a couch and a TV. We've got a remote. It's so cute, you can press the buttons and he actually turns the TV on and changes the channels. That's funny, where is it plugged into? But anyway, so we want to come back around this way. And we're going to go through this little grate right here. And now this is Doc's apartment. And we need to come back to his bedroom. Knock down a couple piles of books. Or all the piles of books if it makes you feel good. But come over to his bed and translate this note. Hey Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. New item gained. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just the librarian. All right, so now we know that it's all behind a bunch of books. So we're going to come back out this way. And look, here's a bunch of books. So just jump on all of these. And get them out of your way. And let's press the button and give the keys. And voila. Then come in here and grab the book. Nice work, another notebook. 
This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Let's find the other notebooks. Let's do. So back through this grate here. And now the place that we want to go is like right across from um, Momo's house. So we're just going to kind of come back over here. I apologize for that game lag. I didn't have time to clean my PC. So I was hoping that what I had done recently would be good enough. And apparently it's not. But it's okay because we are almost where we need to be. Let's make our way across this pipe. And you can see that this is another outsider. They're not really that secretive about it. Come back in through here, back through here, back through here, and another computer. And this is Clementine's house, so let's grab her notebook. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes, I know that. Look, he will not come with us. Oh, there's a... a there, oh, geez. There's also a note in this book. It says, I have found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Let's do. So let's make our way back out. And of course, if you want to explore in here, go ahead, but... Anytime that we go into somewhere that there's something to see, I will make it a point to show you. So let's go... Where are we going here? We want to go back to Momo. So let's go this way. And there are um, badges that you can get for things like with the basketball. I don't know if that one counted. I think it needs to go inside of there, but I'm not really sure. Okay, anyway, back up to Momo's. Up and over. And up here. Up here. And to the window. Alright, let's go show him. We need to show him all of the notebooks. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? So, here's... That's it's about the Tsar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very right, wise. <laughs> oh, it belonged to Doc. He was a really huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine's about the czar. Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now, let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. So, he's fixing it. Fixy, fixy, fixy. Voila! It works. Come with me. If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. Alright, so we've got the transceiver. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Alright. So that is where we need... Oh my god, can you get out of my way? Thank you. It's blurry, but yeah, that's where we need to go. So, let's go to this bucket. And I know it looks scary, but have no fear because this is the end of chapter four. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and punch that bell square in the face so that you get notified when episode five comes out. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This is KK Jinx, over and out.